With over six decades of experience, Ms. Arlouine Gay Kingman has cultivated a career of excellence in the fields of education, administration, and advocacy. Kingman has focused her work on the betterment of Native American tribes in the Northern United States and the protection of their sovereignty. She has served in several capacities in Washington, as well as president of the College on Her Reservation and as the executive director of the Great Plains Tribal Chairman's Association since 2000. Renowned for her purposeful approach, Kingman has earned the respect and friendship of many leaders. As the executive director of the Great Plains Tribal Chairman's Association, she continues to address diverse challenges with grace. Good evening, everyone. It's, um, it's a pleasure to be here, of course, because I didn't know about the South Dakota Hall of Fame until all of this started happening. And I'll tell you, I'm really impressed. I, I really believe that what the Hall of Fame is doing in honoring our, our people, everyday people, and telling their stories, you know, that's valuable for our people coming up, our, our future generations. In, um, in our culture, uh, we have the seven rights of the great Sioux Nation. And in all of these people that have been here are speaking and what they went through in their stories, a lot of those things are what we teach in our way, in our spiritualism. And uh, that's fortitude, you know, what you do to get through things, and compassion, caring for others, respect for others, the wisdom that you have, give to others, and, and all of these things, these people that spoke tonight and will be continuing to speak, demonstrate those qualities that we have. And I like to think in my life, I was blessed because I had really good parents. I grew up in my, in my culture, with my home and my, in my uh, tribe, on the Cheyenne River Sioux tribe. And, of course, Cheyenne Agency was uh, right on the Missouri River and is now 90 feet underwater by the Oahe Dam. But the, uh, those of us that grew up there had wonderful time. Environment was wonderful. We had, you always hear this saying, it takes a village to raise somebody. The village helped. I mean, we all worked together, and there was no fear or no threats or violence, or gun violence or anything like we have today. And, and so I was blessed. It was really a good environment to grow up in. And, um, and I was always taught that you give back, you, you take, and you, you continue going, and, and whatever comes your way, you handle it, and you go. And so that's been true in my life. I, there's been a lot of things that have come my way, some good and some really difficult, but you get through it. And with those values that I mentioned earlier, uh, what that you're taught as a, as a Lakota and as a, a child, you know, you do it. So. That's, I, I guess, why I feel that I'm blessed. And my, I have two sons, one who is a um, graduate of Georgetown University Law School, an attorney, prosecutor, and my other son is, uh, has his MBA and, and works um, in finance and consulting with tribes. And uh, I've got grandchildren, I've got eight grandchildren and 
I've got great grandchildren. And so the family is everything. And every time I do something, I think, you know, of the family. And, I, and we're in tur turn trying to teach these values that we were raised with at, in the new children coming up. I have a lot of people to thank in my life. And uh, I appreciate so much the uh, South Dakota Town Hall of Fame for what they're doing here. And I mentioned that earlier. But um, I'd like to especially thank Connie and uh, for getting me into this. And, <laughs> and But to see what all of this is about, I did not know. And so um, I will continue to advocate for the South Dakota Hall of Fame because I think it's really a, a good thing that's happening here. And uh, my dad always said, there are many good people walking among us that we don't know. And listening to all the people talking tonight, and you know, it seems like in, today in our busy world, we don't have time to talk, stop and talk to people and, and learn and like that. And we, we should do that. It used to be that way, but today our lives are really busy. So w with that, I, I guess I'd like to say um, what I do now is with the Great Plains Tribal Chairman's Association. There are 16 tribes in North Dakota, South Dakota, and Nebraska. And so I'm the executive director. And it's a busy world. Each tribe has their own situations that they're dealing with. And at the same time, we come together and we work on the challenges and work on fixing some of those things and finding solutions. In South Dakota, as you know, we have nine tribes. And so they come together also on specific things. And we work on um, issues like you've probably seen the law enforcement issue or transportation or getting a bridge fixed or all of those things that governments do. And so uh, as we, as I uh, uh, receive uh, the Hall of Fame, I'd like to include those tribal leaders as I receive things because they keep the weight of the people on their shoulders. And uh, I've been, it's been my benefit to work with some outstanding tribal leaders, not only here in uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, and Nebraska, but also nationwide. And um, We've, we all help one another. And that's what I see benefiting too from the South Dakota Hall of Fame. So as we do the um, uh, acceptance tonight, that's what I wanna do is accept it on behalf of our tribal leaders as well as myself. And, and I really appreciate everything and thank you very much.